print. Hey, this week, Coffee and Tools want to thank everybody that entered the contest for the free Verizon Hotspot. Got a winner right here, but I just had to go through quite a few. And what we did was we sort of like picked a number and uh, counted off all the emails that came in. It says, okay, we got to pick a number from one to like, you know, 257 and whatever that number is, we'll figure out whose email that is. And that will be the winner. So not bad. It was some, uh, some pretty cool stuff. I think I've got another hotspot uh, Verizon, I, be I believe it's Hotspot Jetpack, and I think I'll probably next week we'll give that one away. We've got all kinds of crazy ideas for some prizes anyways, but winner this week, or well, last week for the draw. Uh, okay, I'll, again, for M, we'll just keep the, uh, we'll keep kind of quiet under our hats, but we'll just say the person's name is uh, Lewis, and lives in, wow, Brownsville, Texas. Cool. Lewis, congratulations. Uh, that will be shipped out later today. Uh, probably priority post, I guess. We'll only be there in a couple days for you. Enjoy. Uh, I don't know what you're going to do with it. Maybe do the same thing as I did. Get a SIM card and, you know, go to town. This week at Coffee and Tools, uh, we're looking at a shed that it's a really nasty old shed. And uh, there are so many funny things wrong with it. I think we should go over all the funnies. But <laughs> the it was built, I guess, about 30 years ago, and I've decided I'm going to try to reclaim it and reuse it somehow. And we're going to re, I'm actually going to reuse some of the hardware that came out of it, some of the screws and stuff. And I'm going to build a ramp. Uh, I'm going to have to make some new doors and whatever, but I'm going to show you where we're at. And then we're going to, I guess we'll see if we can't get this ramp uh, cut up and uh, made today. It shouldn't be that hard, right? It's just a ramp. Can't be that. Can't be that hard. <laughs> stay tuned. Stay with me. Here's what I'm talking about the shed. The nasty old shed. Can you see that thing behind me? Oh man. Let's take a look at some of this mess here. Um, I put some patio stones down here uh, off my driveway just to lead up towards the uh, shed. And as you can see, it's got, I took the doors and I stripped what was on the front of the doors, but I've still got uh, <coughs> pressure treated lumber there for some reason. I don't know who built this shed. It's, like I said, it's got some real magic going on here. So let's take a look at some of the craziness. It's a little windy out here. Hopefully we're not, uh, the uh, old uh, cat's paw there is gonna take up some of that mess. But uh, I'm gonna show you something here that, this is where, right here, yeah. That's where I wanna build the ramp. And I wanna just put the ramp here up to about here, about four feet out and set it in the ground. I was thinking about putting lag bolts through four by f a four by four right up there so I'd have like a landing place for my lumber and then come down this way but I got to check all this out. I also have got to trim the doors. Obviously the doors will hit the uh, ramp if I put it in, so there's a bit of a problem. Uh, in here I dug up all kinds of old patio stones and bricks and stuff. So I'll show you what I did with the bricks because it's pretty funny, but yeah, there's, <laughs> see the see the bricks at the bottom of the uh, shed? <laughs> it's just sort of, you know, I think it looks kind of, helps to look a little pretty. A little paint wouldn't hurt, but uh, we're gonna be putting a new roof on and actually I want to raise it up a little bit too. So it'll be a, Hopefully, it'll be a good uh, garden shed when it all gets done, or at least decent for storage. And I can even maybe even drive the tractor in there at some point uh, if it'll fit. Uh, I think it'll fit. It'll hold the weight of the tractor, I believe. I hope it'll hold the weight of the tractor. Hmm. All right. So that's where we're at, and uh, this is going to be eventually the building will be here, and then this will be just a breezeway between the two buildings, which is one of the reasons I kept it was like that. Ah, it's it's an old shed, but it can still be handy. But let me show you some of the some of the funny things going on here. Okay, I'm gonna go inside the shed. I don't know if I'm gonna have enough light for this. Probably not. But uh, yeah, notice the uh, construction roof here. Uh, something is really amiss. I, I have never seen a roof uh, line built quite like this one, so. I'm gonna I'm gonna be taking the roof off and redoing it anyway, so it's sort of like you know who cares. But I just thought I'd have to show this to everybody. Like this is not how to do a roof over a shed. Yeah, this is what you don't do. Anyway, <laughs> let's take a look at this. This is gonna be hard to see, so I'll show it to you, and you'll sort of get my gist of the situation here. But you see, right down here, we start 
And if you look at that two by four and where the door is, the spacing there, uh, I'll quite I'll just take a gander and say it's about say seven inches apart. As we come up, it seems to get wider and wider. And towards the top here, I'd say we're close to 10 inches apart. And if you go out and look at the shed, this outer wall is actually leaning out a little bit. The other thing too, of course, is when whoever built this thing, this is all uh, treated uh, really thick. I think it's either half inch or five eighths uh, plywood. So they spent some money uh, building it. And even the lumber in here seems to be either treated, uh, you know, some kind of good quality uh, lumber that they used at the time, but the doors are uh, way too heavy, overbuilt, lots of hardware. Uh, see if you can see it. Oh, let's take a look at that one outside. It'll be easier to look at. Got some sun out here so you can see it, but yeah, the doors are, you know, like lots of hardware on them, and they weren't a bad deal, I guess, but they're just so heavy duty, and there's really no, I don't know, no real particular reason for it. Uh, here now I'm going to show you the real big secret that's going on there's the inner skin the one that we're looking at there that is the treated plywood then what we've got out here is another half inch of redwood cedar over top of the plywood for a, a, a siding look or whatever so wow overbuilt and not built very well I don't know how else to predict it but anyways Today the problem is is this right here. I want to do a ramp. So uh, first thing we do is cut up some four by four or two by. I got some two by eights. I bought three of them. I figure that'll give me six across, which should be about 45 inches wide. That'll give me a nice nice ramp that I can work off of. And then uh, the other problem I've got, of course, like I said, is these doors. The way they close, uh, they don't. They sort of, you know, they just sort of catch and drag on the bottom there. And this one here is even worse. Let's see if it's even locked. I don't know if it's locked. They, they actually had a lock up in here. But no, nope, okay, it's not locked. So just a matter of uh, kicking it and pushing it open, whatever. And I've got to trim this down too. Because the uh, when I come up here, if I put a lag bolt through, I still want quite a bit of lumber here. So I want as much of the 4x4 right up to this edge as I can have. And then the door can sit on top of that. Uh, drainage. Uh, yeah. This should do the trick really right here. So the door should have just stopped right there. I'm really surprised what they uh, they did. It was kind of an okay idea, I guess, to overlap it, but then it cuts the chances off of whatever you're going to do out here. And these are stainless steel heavy rings, so I think they'll probably. Uh, I think they'll these ones right here. I think they'll probably do the job. Man, this one here is exactly what I'm talking about. Uh, I just got this back from the lumber store. I haven't done anything with them. Like I said, usually you can clean the ends. This one here, I measured four feet, cut exactly four feet out of it. And the, la the leftover piece should be four feet plus. It's not, it's exactly four feet. So yeah, we're done with that one, but that's, yeah, the good old lumber store. They used to give you enough to deal with. Okay, that's the top again. Yeah. Alrighty. It's gonna be some fancy footwork here. I'm gonna shorten this up, uh, take the bad off of this end. As you can see, there's some damage. This is basically, I'm just trying to recycle this four by four and it'll go through, uh, hopefully, yeah, this saw should be able to uh, cut this uh, four by four, which is one of the reasons I do like this saw. So now the four by four is across on center, center to the four by four. So I'm just gonna run a set of uh, screws, real big, deep ones, exterior rated, and that'll That'll finish that part. Then all I gotta do is put a landing up there and dig a little trench for this end to set it down. Uh, hopefully this is gonna work. We'll see. Okay, there's a few 
There's a few technical issues here, so uh, we're going to call it quits today. That's going to be just part one. Uh, part two will be the finish, I guess, of this ramp project that's going on here. And we got the contest over with. Another contest starting uh, as early as uh, later this week. Hey, thank you for watching Cocking Tools. Please like, share, and subscribe.